Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Dan Summers, CEO of Realty Evest here in Jacksonville, Florida. We're an online real estate investing platform that sponsors third party properties to our investing community. Today, Tuesday, is our weekly 12 o'clock Eastern Standard Time Meet the Sponsor webinar. Today, I'm excited to introduce the principles of Noble Life Residential Care, Ed and Karen Craig. They have the Confederate House Residential Assisted Living Facility in Fort Mills, South Carolina. Before we get into it, I wanted to make a special note that on our website, under the Learn tab, there's a blog. Hit the blog, and there's a terrific article written by the real estate guys. They've got the most popular real estate podcast on iTunes, Robert Helms and Russell Gray, and they have an extraordinarily well-written topical article about residential assisted living. And once again, it's on our site. Go to the Learn tab and hit our blog. It should be the very first one that you come up to. Why Realty Evest? I'll spend a moment and talk just briefly about our website and the technology involved in it. <clears throat> As I said, we're an online real estate investing platform. Our back-end proprietary technology allows for the simple, seamless, and transparent investing into the real estate opportunities. Some of the neat things about our site is that it allows you to build your own portfolio and you have access to a much greater pool of opportunities. You have the ability to invest into residential properties, affordable housing, assisted care properties, senior care, multifamily, et cetera. And whatever your risk aversion is, it can be addressed on our site. You may be interested in investing in a debt vehicle, preferred equity, some profits participation, what have you. And the really interesting thing is that you can invest with as little as $5,000. You also have the opportunity to mitigate your risk. So you're actually spreading that investment over a number of opportunities and you're investing shoulder to shoulder with dozens of other real estate investors. The other key element here, the dynamic for our success has been our ability to vet out and curate well experienced sponsors. Sponsors that have been in the real estate industry for years and have the necessary ability to buy, operate, and dispose of the real estate in a timely manner. Lastly, I should say, second to last, is we put our money where our mouth is. We invest corporately and personally into every single property we put and host on our site. So obviously, we're drilling down and doing our due diligence on not only the sponsor, but also the asset and the market and community properties in. And lastly, no investor fees. Why are you paying fees for someone to invest your money? There's no hidden fees with us. All the fees are borne by the sponsors. So our investors <clears throat> invest with their capital, the entire $5,000 into a particular investment and that's it. There's no other asset management fees, property management fees, period. Let's talk a little bit about Confederate House, why we love this deal. First and foremost, the riskiest part of any investment, especially a value add opportunity, or in this case, converting a residential house into residential assisted living, is the startup period. So we really displaced that risk by escrowing the first 16 months of interest payments that'll be paid to you. And by the way, we pay three months in advance. So the moment you invest, you've already earned your first three months of interest. Secondly, talking about markets, Strong need for locally for compassionate residential home care. There's only 40 residential assisted living facilities in the entire Charlotte market. Within 30 miles of Fort Mills, there's only two. Talk about an opportunity. Prime location. Fort Mills is the ideal setting to operate a residential assisted living facility for those in the Charlotte MSA. They want their loved ones close by. I've walked this property. I've been to this market. I've met with Ed and Karen. This is a wonderful location, a wonderful piece of real estate. Then equally as important, the growing demand nationally. Over 70 million baby boomers will be retiring over the next 15 years. 
That's an average of 10,000 retiring every, every day. 4,000 people are turning 85 every day with 70% needing daily support for an average of three and a half years. We love this opportunity. And at this point in time, I want to introduce Ed, and uh, he's the owner of Noble Life Residential Care, and let him speak to this opportunity. Ed? Yes, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, my name is Ed Craig. I've been in real estate for about eight years now. My background before that was in finance and accounting. I worked most of my career with Westinghouse Electric or its uh, elevator shoot off for almost 30 years in credit and collections and finance and accounting and budgeting. Um, about eight years ago, my wife and I got involved with real estate. Um, Robert Kiyosaki, as I'm sure you've, uh, many of you have heard of him, but anyway, I've got a lot of training from him. We have been building and rehabbing homes for the last uh, eight years. I've had my real estate license in North Carolina. Um, it says on your South Carolina, but it's North Carolina uh, for the last seven years and continued with that. Um, but we, the, biz, the flipping the homes has been very profitable for us. And we've learned a lot, learned, got in with some of the best people, operators in the business, and general contractors and everything. But we saw that, that things are starting to change. The prices of homes are getting so expensive. The margins are getting squeezed. We're looking for another opportunity where we could continue to not only make a good income from this business, but look for something that's more cash flowing and something that's growing. And as we looked around, the senior residential uh, market, the industry, as we could just look around us, uh, it's growing everywhere. And being a part of the baby boomer group myself, and as Dan alluded to, it's a huge, as we like to call it, the silver tidal wave that is coming our way and will continue for at least the next 20, 25 years with people that are going to need, you know, retirement type living, whether it be in a community like a uh, um, Sun, uh, Sun City, which has a huge development here of over 500 homes uh, just south of the border in South Carolina. And they're actually opening their second, developing their second uh, facility uh, in Fort Mill, actually, right down the street from where we are. Um, one thing about that, though, is that those are traditional homes. They're smaller and it's a nice community, but those people eventually in all those seven and eight hundred homes are going to need additional care as they age out. Now we've also had the big players come in here with the uh, assisted living and been building homes of, or facilities anywhere from 50 to 300 bed facilities. And while they're very beautiful and they have a lot of amenities, the thing that gets lost in there is a sense of community sense of living in a neighborhood and being at home and having neighbors. Um, we've been to several of these large facilities and they're very beautiful, but they're not in a neighborhood. They don't have neighbors and there's hundreds of people there. Also, another thing that we, that lacks there that we address with a quote residential assisted living is the care. In those larger facilities, they have one to 10, one to 16 ratio of the number of people that the caregivers have to take care of. And it gets very difficult to give very personal care when you've got 10, 12, 16 people that you're taking care of. And one of the biggest complaints that we have heard from seniors or the children of seniors is that they'll go see their parents in these facilities and find them all sitting in front of a TV and no activities going on. And that's one of the things that we can address in this niche. And our home will have nine residents. We have bought this beautiful home on a half acre lot in the downtown area of Fort Mill. It's been around since uh, the Civil War actually. So there's some big, beautiful homes there. And as you can see on these pictures here, um, this home, it was originally built right after the Civil War, 
and has been maintained and expanded. And we're going to convert it so that it has nine individual private bedrooms. And so each person has their own privacy. Some of the bedrooms will have private baths. Some won't. Some will have shared baths. But the main thing is they will have a large room to themselves. We will have one caregiver for at most five residents. And we'll have nine people, two caregivers during the day for 12 hours, one at night when people are sleeping. But there'll be round the clock um, caregivers there. They'll get a very personal care. Um, this house will be converted naturally to be completely um, handicap accessible, but we will also have, um, we're going to be putting in sprinklers in there, alarm systems, video systems, only in the private, I'm sorry, in the public areas. And we will have um, delayed access or uh, on the door so people can't wander because this will be a memory care facility. So we'll have special training for our um, caregivers and also prevention from having them uh, be able to just walk off. Now it's not, they're not locked in. It's a 45 second delay if you don't have a keypad to get out. So they can get out, but it just alar it alerts the caregivers so they can, you know, take care of them, make sure they don't go wandering off. Now, as I said, there's a lot of building going on, but there's, um, this is really right now just the tip of the iceberg. The Charlotte metropolitan area is the seventh or eighth fastest growing senior market in the United States. And it's the fastest growing millennial um, population in the United States. And the beautiful thing about that is these millennials that are moving here are because of the jobs here with Bank of America, Wells Fargo, Duke Energy, and a number of other very big companies that are here, lots of hospitals and other companies. And the thing is, is those millennials have children and those children have grandparents and those grandparents want to be near their children. So with all these millennials moving here, the uh, baby boomers who have their grandchildren want to be near them and they are moving here. We have a second thing that actually is kind of unique to Charlotte is a lot of people retired in Florida and they didn't really like it, but they don't want to go back to the cold in the north. And what the, a lot of people do is they move back to an area like Charlotte which is one of the most popular places, and they're called halfbacks. They're not going all the way back, they're going halfway back. Anyway, we have a huge influx of people. This is gonna to continue to grow, and that sector is, we know that we're gonna um, have a great product for that. Also, because of the demand rising, rents will continue to increase. We've actually, just got an article on a, a larger facility that just opened four months ago, and their starting bed rate uh, for a private room is almost $5,800, where we're gonna be charging around $5,500 and giving better care. Um, this is uh, just a tremendous opportunity here. We feel we're in the right place at the right time. We partnered with the number one uh, residential Assisted Living Group in the United States, which is the Residential Assisted Living uh, Academy out of Phoenix. We've been certified by them. We have lots of, they're on our board and are um, guiding us and helping us in many ways throughout all of this. We are not alone. We've got a lot of support and we're very excited about this one. We've been working with a senior market for a long time and we are very excited about this opportunity and i just uh you know we're going to be providing that personal care that's in a neighbor as you saw from those pictures it's in a neighborhood surrounded by beautiful homes we're going to have a wraparound porch where people are going to be able to sit in their porch and you know feel at home not in an institution and as far as the prices on these things. Most of these people are, there's the higher income neighborhoods are all around us in uh, Charlotte. And the priority for expenditures 
for the seniors and, and their children really, which are usually the people paying for this, is gonna be at the top of their uh, priority list because taking care of mom and dad is, is far from dis a discretionary purchase. Um, so we know that we're at the top priority of being paid. It's not like having a rental property where people can move in and out uh, if they find a better place. This is, people are gonna be dedicated to this, but I'm very excited about this and looking forward to, um, you know, building this and many more after this. So, Dan, are there any other questions that you have? So, Ed, let's talk a little bit about the, the investment summary that's up on the screen right now. As you can see, uh, Realty Evest Fort Mills LLC will be, actually be the lender uh, to your entity. The vehicle in which we'll be lending you the money is a debt first lien mortgage on the property. It's a 12-month term. The total loan is $660,000, and it's a good loan to value. 70% 70, 70 of this stabilized value, and the annualized interest rate is 10%. That is a debt vehicle which is paid in advance. Here's projected funding. So the purchase price is 301000 and some change. So we've got some soft costs of property modification. As you can see, Ed and his team are really upgrading the property, turning it into an assisted living facility with all those modifications for memory care, it's almost three quarters of a million dollars. The stabilized market value is 945,000 and the projected annualized interest is $66,000 annually. Minimum net investment is $5,000, so your projected annualized interest is $500. Here's your principal repayment. Everyone needs to know there's an exit strategy, so how are we getting out of this? So it's going to take about six months. And keep in mind, we're reserving interest for in excess of a year. So it's going to take about 12 months to get this property completely rehabbed and modified into a memory care facilities. And right now, I know that there's a waiting list, certainly in Fort Mills, and I know Ed has been doing a yeoman's job in terms of putting the word out there and has gotten some traction all, already with some prospective tenants. They'll begin to fill the facility after renovation and take about four to six months to achieve full occupancy. Once the property is fully occupied, the property will begin to stabilize going into year two <clears throat> or 12 of the 24 months. The sponsors will complete a long-term financing vehicle, refinancing that is, to repay all the principals to Realty Evest. So that's it in a nutshell at about 50,000 feet. Uh, I know that we've got a couple of questions come in here, Ed, and uh, you know, I wanted to turn to you as being the expert. Maybe you can speak uh, to the supply and demand uh, out there. I know that we've got 4,000 baby boomers reaching the age of 85 every day, uh, but more importantly, we're interested in hearing something uh, about the Fort Mills market, Charlotte market, and the competition. Well, as I said, we have one large institution that's down the street that has over uh, um, 50, uh, 50 beds in it. Um, there are a couple other large ones, but the ones in our niche, which is the residential assisted living business, uh, we actually have two main competitors. There are several, a handful of small mom and pop places that their children moved out. They had a large house. Um, they had a passion for seniors and things, and they opened them up for two or three bedrooms, something like that. North Carolina and most of the surrounding communities of Charlotte in uh, South Carolina, which is just over the border, by the way, uh, it's literally 10 minutes from our home here in the southern part of uh, Charlotte. Um, there are no other competitors in the South Carolina area, but there is in North Carolina, these two competitors, uh, one of them is Unlimited Possibilities, which has five locations, and the other one is Senior Treats Comfort Care. Now, one of the things that both of them, since they're in North Carolina, are limited to are only six residents, and they have some nice facilities. Um, the Senior Retreat Comfort Care, their two facilities are in neighborhoods, 
but I've been through their homes and they basically took existing homes with carpets and uh, jacuzzis and regular thresholds that you would have on the flooring and did very little to change that. They did do ramps and some other accommodations, uh, grab bars, but some of the things that you want to do to completely make seniors at this point feel comfortable and remove hazards is get rid of carpets. There's no jacuzzis. You have, we will only have walk-in showers that allow the shower big enough where there'll be nothing to step over, no threshold. You'll be able to wheel the senior in there in either a wheelchair or a walker if they can't do it themselves with a caregiver. And everything on our floor will have one level, one flooring. We're going to be putting in a luxury vinyl tile, which is a highly re uh, water-resistant tile. It looks like wood tile. And, uh, but it's very easy to clean and is becoming the preferred, it's a newer project, product, excuse me, and it makes it easier to clean and keep uh, maintained. Um, that, those two homes don't have that. I, I was disappointed to see the shag carpeting and things like that, which is not easy for a walker or a wheelchair. And the other one, Unlimited Possibilities, they've got four in one location property they built all together but it's not in a neighborhood um, it's kind of off by itself and they have one in a neighborhood but it's not actually in the neighborhood they neither of them kind of hits all the buttons and I just we're allowed to in Fort Mill have nine residents which with basically the same overhead will be able to give as good better care actually in a better house in an actual neighborhood facility where you are in the neighborhood of downtown Fort Mill, which is a very small town, just literally minutes from the North Carolina border, about 20 minutes from the North uh, from the Charlotte Airport, and about 15 minutes from the uh, neighborhoods in Southern uh, Charlotte. And as I said, it's only about 10 minutes from my house. Uh, very easy access. They actually allow golf carts on the street to go into downtown Fort Mill, which is being completely renovated with new stores and shops and restaurants. So when we open this facility in approximately eight to nine months when construction and permitting everything is done, the downtown Fort Mill area will have several new locations open also. I mean, we have looked at all the desirable items that you want to get and have hit all the buttons here. And uh, we're very excited about finding this location in this house. And we know we're gonna be setting the bar higher than our competition. And- Well, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll you know, leave also, off. I'm we, sorry? We, yeah, as far as Realty Evest is concerned, we understand and we've lived through your due diligence. I need the listeners to realize that Ed has spent months and months and months on the due diligence on this particular site, on the financial spreadsheets, zoning permits, the construction budget, et cetera. Every line item has been addressed and readdressed many times. There's nothing left for imagination on this, uh, on this opportunity. So we're nearing the 30 minute mark, Ed. I think you've done a wonderful job explaining this. Uh, for those of you that are interested, and hopefully uh, you are, uh, this is on our site, realtyevest.com, and feel free to go to our particular deal. Uh, there it is. Uh, go to the offering uh, that says the Confederate House. Complete details are there. It talks about the, the sponsor. There's photos. There's floor plans. There's pro formas, projections, documentation. We give every investor the opportunity to review information and make a prudent business decision on our site it's very transparent it's seamless and real simple so folks please go to realty evest take a look at the rest of the information that's on our site feel free to register and more importantly call me directly or email me directly with any questions once again thank you and look we look forward to seeing you next tuesday with our las vegas assisted living facility thank you